Good day everyone, Pasay Bobic here. We are now in this fifth game for today, January 29, 2024, NBA game day. Um, and again, this is the fifth that we have, and this is an interconference battle um, between New Orleans Pelicans and uh, Boston Celtics, which will actually start at uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Approaching this game, the, the Pelicans got a record of 26 wins and 20 losses, while the Boston Celtics, they have a record of 35 and 11. Both teams are actually doing good. Both teams above 500. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, but for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium uh, packages, you might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger. Just go ahead and take a look at the descriptions of our videos, and you should see the details right there. By the way, the spread that is given here is minus 8, and that's actually given towards Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics, they would have the whole court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, well, both teams are actually coming off losses. Um, you know, Boston Celtics coming off a loss, New Orleans Pelicans coming off back-to-back -back losses. But uh, I gotta give I gotta give the uh, slight advantage towards Boston Celtics because um, even if they are coming off a loss for their you know for their last ten games, uh, the Celtics have won seven. Um, compared to New Orleans Pelicans for their last 10 games, yes, they are still doing good. They they did five, but, you know, again, Boston Celtics should have a slight advantage. Now, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, uh, both teams are coming off rest, right? So that, that's actually correct, so we can just skip that part. And let's go ahead and take a look at the availability and health of both teams. Now, for Boston Celtics, I see uh, all I see three centers, three bigs. In the IL, um, Luke Cornett is listed as doubtful for this game, and we have Porzingis and Al Horford uh, both listed as questionable or game time decision for this matchup. So again, all three centers that, that Boston has are in IL. Now for New Orleans Pelicans, this is something that's going to be huge for them for sure. Um, I, I checked the IL, and no one is actually hurt, and no one is unavailable for this game. So. They have the advantage in terms of health and availability. All right, so again, both teams are coming off uh, losses. Um, Boston Celtics. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they are actually looking to, you know, uh, looking to bounce back off that particular loss that they had uh, recently. And they are at home right now, and they are actually doing good at home. I mean, you can take a look at the record. They are at 20 wins and two losses at home, so um, they are very comfortable at home. Uh, the only thing that you know, the only thing that's really pulling me back, you know, that for me to put my money on Boston is the fact that you know um, their bigs uh, are unhealthy. Um, they may be playing, you know, some of them may be playing, but um, we just don't know how healthy are they, um, and we just don't know how many minutes would would be given to Porzingis and you know and to to Horford. And it's actually uh. uh Listed right there in IL that Cornette is even tagged as doubtful. So, you know, highly likely he won't be joining the team. I mean, he won't be playing with the team. Um, now, that's the, you know, that's the thing that's actually pulling me back because New Orleans Pelicans, they are, uh, they are actually healthy on this particular game. And we, we got to remember that, uh, of course, they have Zion Williamson. And not only Zion Williamson, they got Talon Shunas and they got uh, B.I. And, and B.I. may be playing like a uh, uh, small forward, but, you know, he's long and he's actually big. So um, if Boston Celtics would be missing those bigs that they normally have, um, uh, New Orleans Pelicans, they do have a chance. You know, they do have a chance in this um, Highly likely, Boston Celtics would still win. Um, I can't imagine, you know, Boston Celtics losing back-to-back, -back, especially that they are at home right now. Um, but in terms of the spread of eight points, especially the fact that the spread is at eight points, Zion is there. I mean, I can imagine. I can imagine uh, New Orleans even, you know, even dominating the paint and the and the, the offensive rebounds without, you know, without those bigs that uh, Boston usually has. So, again, Boston Celtics may win the may win the game, but I feel like New Orleans Pelicans would have enough on this because of uh, the health that they have and because of those missing bigs that Boston would 
uh, would have in this matchup. So my pick on this one would be New Orleans Pelicans plus 8. Again, that's Pelicans plus 8. Peace out. Pasay love. God bless.